Hi, everyone. I'm Kunal, and with me, I have my co-founder, Shivnath. Hello. Uh, we're founders of Unravel Data, which is an application and operations management company that helps you migrate and then manage all your data workloads and pipelines on the commonly used Amazon systems. So before we jump in, a quick history about ourselves. Um, Unravel was founded by Shivnath, me, and a couple of us who've done performance management in the past. Uh, also, some data scientists and specialists in the data arena. Um, our team consists of people from AppDynamics, Cloudera, AWS. Our product's been used by a lot of different enterprises uh, in every vertical to help them monitor and manage their big data workloads and help them get to the cloud or between environments as well. Um, and it really boils down to three things. We help with performance management, uh, reducing cost, and optimizing your cluster itself, as well as helping you out migration. And both those plays is something that we'll show you um, a few insights into. So when you're trying to move environments, whether that's uh, on-premise to the cloud, between clouds, and then between data systems, uh, there's a lot of common questions that come up. Questions around, how much will this cost us? Uh, what are the right type of instances for me to get on Amazon, for me to actually run these type of workloads? Um, which apps are actually best suited for this particular cloud environment or this particular infrastructure that I'm going to be moving to? And how do I know if my migration is successful? Now, all of these questions are usually guesstimates. Uh, I'm sure when you were doing your exercise, or if you are doing your exercise to move to a new environment like Amazon, um, it's basically on a few factors like, what is your size of data? Um, and then you pick your instance types, and then you pick a quantity of that particular instance type. Now, that technique um, doesn't get you the accuracy in terms of cost and performance that you need. Uh, what Unravel can do is help you get really scientific and surgical in understanding what's the best instance type and what's the right environment and how big should the environment be on any given day of the week so you can use auto scaling features up and down uh, to actually run your code there in a very optimized and a cost effective fashion. Um, this is our Unravel migration features. Uh, it does everything from helping you discover your current environment, helps you do the planning and the migration project management work tool as a software, right? So you don't need people involved to help you understand all of these different complexities where you'd otherwise be spending days, weeks, sometimes months figuring out the answers to all these different questions. And let me walk you through uh, you know, some of these different feature sets that we have. So first and foremost, you have a current environment. Uh, it may be on-premise. It may be on another provider. And you're trying to get to, say, Amazon. Firstly, understanding what you are currently running is super, super key. So then you can start to figure out whether you've got compatibility, whether uh, you will be able to scale up in this new environment or not. So Unravel, once you install it, instantly populates a kind of report like this that tells you about everything from what systems you're running, what services you're actually leveraging on your current environment, um, and then helps you break down other usage information by how many apps do I have? How many of these applications are Spark versus Kafka or Hive or Hadoop, for example? Uh, which users actually access these particular applications? Then you start to look at your resource uh, information around how much CPU, memory, containers, et cetera, do I currently have? And how much of that do I actually use? All of this information is baseline information for you to understand what your shape of your workload or the cost in your new environment will start to look like. Today, this is a very manual exercise, and Unravel can give you that in an instant. Once you have all that data collected, Unravel can also help you understand which are the workloads that are best suited for the cloud. Right? So you may have a consistently running environment, and maybe you're trying to get to a auto-scaling, dynamic ecosystem. Unravel can help you understand which are these applications that are very bursty in nature, for example. Which of these applications sometimes process 50 gigs of data, another day 500 gigs of data. So they need a lot of different resource changes out there. So this way, you can pick and choose and only migrate those types of workloads that are best suited for the cloud. Other ways of slicing this could be in your, in your uh, organization, you may be thinking, hey, we've got 15 business groups 
uh, on the cluster right now. We want to move just the marketing department to the cloud. Unravel can help you slice and dice that data as well to help you understand, hey, you don't need to move your entire five petabytes of data. We can show you all the apps that marketing department touches, all the data sets the marketing department accesses, and you can only move those particular workloads to your cloud environment as well. Sometimes you want to stage it. Sometimes you want to have a very uh, serial effort in getting all of your different organizations to the cloud as well. That's something that Unravel can also help you out with. But now here's the cool part. Now you've figured out what you want to move to the cloud. You've selected your different workloads. Unravel can now start to shape your workloads as well based on your resource requirements and then map it to the right instance type using an intelligence engine that Unravel's built in internally. Again, this is something that software does. You don't need people to do this. So for example, I identified my marketing department that needs to move to the cloud. They're running a ton of Spark. They may be doing some Kafka-based streaming applications as well, um, and some NoSQL and MPP uh, applications too. And now when I come here, I've got a couple of different ways in which I can think about which instance type I should get. Number one option is lift and shift, which is I want to move to exactly the similar environment that I had on my previous ecosystem onto the Amazon environment. And what we do here is a simple mapping exercise to help you understand what your current resources look like, what their specs were, and what resources on Amazon should you be mapping to if you want to run it one for one. And over here you see you know, your total cost for running those particular applications or a data set in that kind of a lift and shift environment. Where this gets even cooler is if you think about, OK, I don't want to do a lift and shift. I want to use Amazon's capabilities to be able to reduce my cost. Unravel can now start mapping all of your requirements based on instance types that you really need. The way we do this is twofold. One, we understand all your resources currently available, but what's actually used on your uh, cluster, maybe day of the week, uh, time of the day, and then we realize that, hey, you don't use your cluster to 100% utilization, and we do that mapping exercise to figure out what your actual usage is, and then map that to an uh, Amazon environment, for example. So you see there's huge cost savings, and I'm sure a lot of us uh, want to leverage uh, Amazon's auto-scaling capabilities as well to keep our costs low. This is another way that Unravel helps you leverage that. A third way is to help you understand uh, cost also with the lens of performance and reliability. So cost reduction is great, but Unravel, will all my workloads actually finish on time every time? This is another view to help you do that, where you can choose the number of workflows or your number of data pipelines or number of your data applications and say, I want to match 100% SLA. I want to make sure that everything that I'm moving to the cloud finishes within a certain amount of time or about a time of the day. And Unravel can help you actually match those workload requirements with the cloud as well. So just to summarize, um, Unravel, once you install it, instantly discovers everything that's happening on your cluster, which has rich information about applications, data sets, resources used, all the users in your system. And once you have all of this data, you can start to very intelligently plan and migrate your workloads to the cloud based on your cost and performance requirements. This is another view of that same workload fit that we were talking about, which is showing you 100% SLA match would cost you $5.48, but a 95 or an 85% SLA match would actually reduce your cost a little bit more. So based on the leeway you have within your organization of, hey, I'm fine living with 85% SLAs, Unravel can also help you map your requirements accordingly. Um, and now that you have your migration exercise going on, it's usually a multi-month exercise. How do you even guarantee and tell your business constituents that migration app actually happened successfully? Unravel it starts becoming a project management tool at that point and says, hey, you know what? We had this application, a Spark app, that was running in about two minutes. And now in the new environment, it's actually taking 35 minutes to run. And this is where Unravel's optimization features kick in. And you can actually start to optimize this application to make it go under that two-minute SLA. And then you can check it off and say, yep, that application was migrated successfully. So with that, I'm going to hand it over to Shivnath to talk a little bit more about how do we actually optimize those workloads once on the cloud.
చేస్తున్నాం హలో వన్ వన్స్ అగైన్ ఐమ్ శివనాథ్ బాబు సిటీ వన్ కో ఫౌండర్ అండ్ రావో సో కునాల్ షోడ్ యూ హౌ యూ క్యాన్ గెట్ యువర్ వర్క్ లోడ్స్ ఇన్ అ క్విక్ టైమ్లీ ఆప్టిమల్ వే టు ద క్లౌడ్ రైట్ నౌ దట్ ఇస్ ఆన్ ద క్లౌడ్ రైట్ what you might end up with is an architecture that might look something like this you have a lot of different kinds of data like you know from structure to unstructured data maybe ingested via kafka or kinesis right uh, stored on amazon s3 dynamo db maybe the preparation cleaning of the data might happen with spark and the result might be visualized using a tableau maybe you are running athena like you know serverless queries right to power your etl pipelines report generation pipelines bi use cases or you might be even more fancy where all this data that is actually getting collected in real time as well as like you know in a batch fashion you might want to do machine learning on it you might use amazon sage maker right or you might roll up your sleeves and do a lot of modeling with uh, with spark or with python right or you might actually have iot applications to real time applications maybe combining the machine learning models with the serving or maybe generating alerts in real time in short once you are on the cloud there is a plethora of different services you can use right we will end up with a very sophisticated pipeline and if you look at all of these systems here they are all distributed systems and the moment you have all of these systems right they are you trying to rely on which are powering mission critical applications a lot of things can go wrong right the application fails or maybe your iot pipeline starts to lag right so the operations teams or the developers now need to get involved to figure out what is happening and solve the problem or it might be that uh, the pipeline which was actually running well last week last month suddenly starts to miss the sla so what went wrong how do i really like find the problem quickly and fix it right or it might be problems like i'm getting a flood of alerts like i have these cloudwatch alerts configured right and all of these alerts are coming and i don't know where to start how to deduplicate these alerts how to find the root cause or it could be that like you know your teams you have the dev teams the operation teams somebody says the problem is in how you have architected things right or the problem is in the cluster or the problem could actually be in the application design itself on the code a lot of finger pointing fighting could happen and in all these efforts it could be that you're missing slas maybe your costs are going through the roof right so complex pipeline to make it mission critical on the cloud you actually have to solve all of these challenges so in unravel that's the uh, the challenge that we took on so once you are your apps on the cloud all that data that unravel is ingesting about your applications about your infrastructure about your usage we bring it into a single pane of glass so instead of having to look at three cloud watch dashboards here logs there metrics pipelines here you can come to a single pane of glass a single place where the data is brought in visualized but the key ch the key actually uh, challenge we have solved is how can we take all of this data apply uh, ai and ml algorithms on it and help operations teams architect and devs not waste their time troubleshooting problems but truly making these building these applications and making them reliable right so overall we support a huge class of systems from the amazon emr like you know the open source distributed systems like spark like kafka like hbase like you know as well as the uh, born in the cloud the native systems like redshift or databricks right as well as the more serverless kind of usage like athena across all of these systems you could have transient clusters in emr you could have auto scaling uh, like you know uh, systems with uh, redshift or you could have entirely serverless all of these environments and ravel is constantly collecting the telemetry data from metrics to logs to configurations right and constantly bring it in the unravel system where it can analyze this data to give you dashboards to give you reports and all the way to actually give you like recommendations and how to fix the problems while automatically fixing a lot of these problems let me drill down a little bit more and tell you like you know what what goes on like you know under the covers um, high level and unravel like you know we support application performance management so your application might be a spark application or a like you know kafka based pipeline right and ravel can on one end auto tune and what is like you know auto tuning auto tuning is where for the application you have a goal or an sla which might be i want this to finish in uh, in 10 minutes right each time it runs so and ravel can analyze all of this data and automatically tune and ensure that you are getting the goal which might be a uh, like an efficiency or a speed up kind of a goal 
for uh, some of these use cases, what Unravel can do is it can go to the level of like, you know, logs and metrics, apply machine learning algorithms, automatically pinpoint root causes, as well as give you recommendations like what you're, see, what you're seeing on the right side. What configuration should I set my Spark containers to so that the application will run reliably and finish in time? Right? As well as views like this, where all the errors happening at any level can be brought together with an analysis to what is the root cause of the problem. And on the other side, we don't actually like look at just individual applications at a time. We look at your entire pipeline, your entire cluster, right? which could be from an operational kind of a use case. Unravel can analyze the entire workload running in a cluster and give you recommendations like you know, use this type of instances to cut down the cost while meeting the performance SLAs, or configure the overall like, you know, uh, configuration of the cluster so that you can optimize the cost while meeting all the SLAs. Or at this extreme, like Unravel has these sophisticated forecasting algorithms that can help you with capacity planning. How do you plan for served instances, spot instances, cost on the cloud, right? So all of these uh, can be handled automatically by Unravel. So to summarize, we actually have uh, a system that we, are, uh, we have released. Now it's on the Amazon Marketplace where you can use it for application level use cases, remediation as well as operational use cases while bringing all your apps to the cloud as well as supporting a hybrid environment. So there are a lot of customers who are using Unravel at a very high level, right? You know, these are some of the numbers that we have seen from customers. Huge gains in productivity, no time spent in like, you know, troubleshooting and uh, application uh, like, you know, performance tuning and things like that. Reliability of your apps, meet SLAs all the time as well as reduce cost. Right? You can get Unravel very easily. It's on the marketplace. Right? Summary, AI-driven full-stack analysis of all your entire cloud environment and hybrid environments to save cost. And that's it. Thanks a lot.